Okay, okay, today I'm going to share with you my personal budget tracker for expenses and budgeting. A lot of times, a lot of people do not track their expenditure and their income because it is just very, very tough to do so. Even with a lot of budgeting apps out there, it is quite difficult to use because there are so many advanced features, advanced functions and stuff like that, right? So today, I want to share with you my personal budget tracker that is ultra, ultra simple. You just have to make a little bit of an effort to record down your salary or income every time it comes in as well as your expenses every time you make an expenditure. I'm going to give you some tips on how to do it so that you can track your budget as well to avoid overspending and hopefully save and invest more to retire early or retire on time. Okay, so this is my budget tracker and it's super easy. I'm going to leave a link to the template down in the description so you can feel free to steal it, edit it however you want. I'm going to show you how to use it. So it's pretty straightforward. There is a um, different sheet for a different month and then you have a summary page to help you sum everything up and you can view what you have done in the year. So I made this for year 2025 and for example say you have a full-time job right and this is going to be very very simple for you if you have a full-time job. So for example you have a full-time job working at a tech company. So every month you get a salary and I'm just going to put, you know, tech company, private limited, say your salary is $4,800 um, and you can click categorize it as salary. So you can see what happens here is that it automatically sums it up for you. Total income, uh, percentage of salary. But a lot of us these days, we have side hustles, right? Whether you are selling stuff on carousel or you are selling your services, you have an Etsy shop or you have freelance on Fiverr, um, a lot of us have side hustles. So you can also put in your side hustles as well to record your income. For example, example, say I provide a service on Fiverr, so I can say, okay, income source Fiverr this month, maybe I made $1,200, I can categorize it as side hustle. So now you can see, oh, fantastic, 80% of my income is made up of my salary, 20% is made up of my side hustles. Why this is important is because a lot of people always have this question, right? Or like, oh, when can I quit my full-time job, you know? So this allows you to see, okay, how many percent of your salary is your side hustle and how many percent of your um, salary is your actual full-time salary? And maybe if the percentage looks something like this, then ah, maybe you can consider, you know, I want to make my side hustle a bit more, uh, my full-time thing more serious, Can you can consider doing that. But if, for people like me, because I don't have a full-time job, I just run multiple things at the same time, then you can feel free to go ahead, change the drop-down menu to include more categories of your different income sources, right? So you can sum it up here as well. Pretty straightforward. This one is a template that is suitable for people who are employed. But if you're self-employed, some customization is needed. Okay, next, expenses. So expenses, very simple. Say for example, uh, I have my phone bill, right? So phone bill, $20. The category, this one is needs. So the category is categorized into needs, wants, and for savings and investment, right? Because uh, there is this 50-30-20 rule to help you budget. So 50% of your income should be spent on needs, 30% spent on wants, and 20% spent on investments or savings. Personally, I don't follow the 50-30-20 rule because I actually invest a uh, big portion of my income depending on what my income is at month but 50, 30, 20 is a very good place to start. So for example, hey, see I got a phone bill, uh, it's $20, it's my needs. Say for example, uh, today I want to take my family out for a nice dinner. So I put like nice steak dinner oh, or something like that, right? And then maybe it was uh, 200 bucks. Oof, nowadays very expensive. Don't even know 200 bucks can or not. But say, okay, that one is want, okay? So uh, say I also have a uh, like transport, transport, uh, transport essential, right? Transport say I spent $200, something like that, right? So that is how you track. So you can see, oh, okay, so how much, how much is spent on needs, how much is spent on wants, and uh, this month I have 5580 left over, I can save and invest 5580. So you can see this one, uh, it will always add up to 100%, but you can see for me, this one is a bit out of whack because I'm just randomly whacking numbers. You probably will not be able to save 93% of your income, but just an example for you to take a look, right? Finally, you will have everything added up into this nice summary page where you can see, oh, how much did you make from your salary that year? How much do you make from your side hustle that year? And I even put in a super awesome link to a personal income calculator that I use and I try to calculate my income tax from there as well. Another thing that really hinders people from having this budget thing is 
the calculation. So like every time you go out for a meal or you take a grab, then you have to record here. It's very, very troublesome. So what you can do or what you should do, you can always snap a photo of the receipt, screenshot the receipt or the email of your grab and everything. And then at the end of the month, you just spend 30 minutes every month to sum everything up into the category. So instead of like nice steak dinner, you can just categorize everything as eat out. And then this one could be the different just equal sum and could be the different um, bills that you have eating out. So like you say $50 plus $120, uh, $123 plus $60. So that month you have spent $233 eating out. So those are ones, right? Yeah, so you can do that as well. How you do it is largely up to you. But this Excel sheet is made such that you really don't have to think much and you can just use it and track your budget. And it is not super, super detailed, but it gives you a nice overview of your expenditure as well as your income so that you have a better grasp on your personal finance. Budgeting is extremely important to have a very, very healthy personal finance. So hope this helps you. Feel free to download my free template in the link in the description. If you enjoy content on starting businesses, freelancing, personal budgeting and stuff like that, I make stuff like that. Give me a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.